Hey guys, it's Kev over Gary back out here. Um, I need to work on my truck. So yesterday's video, uh, I lost AC on it and I lost a bunch of footage, unfortunately. Uh, that new camera, I'm still learning and I guess I got corrupted files, I don't know. All my other videos I do on my phone, uh, just an iPhone, but uh, I've been trying uh, one of those little mini cameras, uh, Go or whatever but anyways having a learning curve with it uh so yeah i lost ac yesterday through a belt again so uh i'm gonna jack the cab up here and gonna see what's uh causing that because that's the second belt uh that it's thrown so let's get the cab up oh also uh the truck blew more black smoke than I like. I didn't realize it was having that much come out of it. So uh, I'm going to turn the pre-boost fuel down a little bit today. Uh, try to cut down on that. Uh, for you as guys that watched the last video, I mean, it was smoking pretty good. I didn't realize it was doing it. I thought it was just a puff between shifts, but it was more, uh, more than I like. So I'm going to fix that problem as well. So I think all that's wrong with it is I overcharged it and uh, both times it's uh, fallen off. One, I was asleep and I threw it and the other time it was, uh, uh, I was in traffic yesterday, slowed down. So I think what's happening is it's overcharged and I don't have good airflow going over uh, the condenser and it's building up too much head pressure, slips the belt and throws it. That's my thoughts. Now, you guys with more experience, I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just want to be done with this problem. But uh, So I'm going to put a belt on. I'm going to uh, check the pressures and uh, see what I got going on here. Um, that's where I'm at. And here's the setup. So I, I don't have the belt on yet. Uh, just goes to that pulley to that pulley. I mean, pretty simple. Uh, it looks all in line. Uh, I don't know what's causing it, but uh, I hope this fixes it. Well, I got the belt all on. Check the pressures and they seem good. I might tighten that belt a little more. I loosened up a little bit. But it also seems like the belt could go forward about two millimeters would help. And uh, there's no adjustment, so I'm gonna have to figure something out there. Uh, also, I came over to uh, that oil leak. So several videos back, I made this new plate with a PCV grommet. Well. I think it wasn't quite centered on that. It was putting some pressure on it. So it's been leaking still, as you can see. So I've wrapped a piece of safety wire around it, safety wired it to pinch it on that tube. I'm hoping that does the trick. I'm tired of having an oil leak. Just want it fixed. Uh, so yeah, there's some of the things I've been doing. Well, that's gonna conclude today's video. I cleaned up the tank where I spilled a little fuel on it. Cleaned up my quarter fenders, cleaned the windows, fixed the AC, most important, and see if we fix that oil leak. But she's all ready to go. She's uh, running some cars tomorrow. So uh, I'll get some video of that. Uh, hope you guys are liking the content and uh, I'll get back with you guys soon.